Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I want to give you my review of the Polar FT7 heart rate watch. Um, first of all, I'll start with what you get in the box. Uh, this is the box. Uh, you obviously get a bunch of papers, some warranty stuff, which is not really relevant, and a quick start guide in about 19 languages, which is actually handy, because it will uh, give you a, I think a five-page overview of how the system works. You get the device itself, the watch. Oh, this way around. Uh, you get the strap to put it on your chest, which is uh, obviously adjustable for uh, bigger and smaller people. And you get the transmitter that you click onto the to the strap. Here you see, you click on like that. Uh, the transmitter obviously talks to uh, talks to the watch, and it is coded. If you are able to read that, and that means that it only talks to this watch. And if somebody next to you is uh, also wearing a Polar device, then it's uh, it's not getting mixed up in the signals. Um, what's also handy is that this will also talk to the equipment you're sitting on. So if you're on a cross trainer or a bike or whatever that is compatible with Polar, uh, this will also transmit to the the training equipment, and you can see your heart rate on that too, as well as on the watch. Okay, so here's the device. As you can see, it's a pretty normally sized watch. If I compare it with uh, another watch of mine, which is pretty much the same size, a little bit smaller than my watch. And if I compare it with one of my really big watches, you can see that the heart rate device is a tiny bit smaller. Um, but it's a pretty normally sized watch. Uh, it's a rubber strap, very sturdy, with about 100 different little holes so you can uh, it'll for sure fit same goes for this side also rubber lots of holes sturdy very durable um, the device itself has five buttons the the select button up in menu down in menu the cancel and back button and the backlight button and on the back you'll see this big red thing which is actually the uh, holds the battery and the battery is uh, you can change the battery yourself you can just open this with a screwdriver and put a new battery in that also goes for the wear link device has the same thing on the back uh, you can just open and put a new um, put a new device in or put a new battery in sorry okay the features of this device are pretty limited I have to say um, which is actually one of the reasons I bought it as well the, it sits below the FT40 and obviously also below the FT60 and 80 uh, which are all uh, the more you go up the more sophisticated they get in what you actually get you can put your um, training programs in there your exercises even if you go all the way up in the range uh, this one has pretty much none of that it gives you heart rate um, you can set your maximum heart rate you can set your fat burning heart rate and that's pretty much it uh, obviously it gives the time as well but that's um, not really the point where you're buying it I suppose um, I'll show you a few uh, few simple things. Uh, well, from the main menu you get settings, which is uh, basic things like language, uh, date format, time format, heart rate format, metric system, or uh, or the colonial system, uh, and data, which is the stored exercises you uh, you put in there. And that's it. That's all you get. And the same goes for when you're go back to the main thing here the same goes for when you're actually working out you can see uh, your heart rate you can see how many calories you burned and um, the time you've been working out and that is pretty much it so it's all it's very simple very basic um, which is actually what I like I'm, um, I use it primarily primarily in the gym and I don't feel like uh, like putting all my exercises in here and, and training that way that's just not what I like I mean if that's your thing you should look for another watch uh, but if you just want a simple heart rate monitor, then uh, this is definitely um, for you. I'll show you how it works. Uh, first, you have to connect the transmitter to your belt. If you don't do that, it doesn't work. So let me do that real quick here. You can snap it on like this. This is the way you wear it, not the other way around. Not really sure why they say that's important, but uh, apparently it is. Once it's connected, um, you click start and it starts looking for the transmitter 
well, obviously you won't find much now because it's uh, I'm not wearing it. It's not my heart rate. There you go. You see, and then you press start. Uh, here you can see I put my maximum heart rate on 175, and my fat burning heart rate is 123. Now, as you start training, um, a little heart icon will show up here um, and show you where on this line you are currently training. Over here will be your heart rate will be displayed and the effect will either be fat burning or fitness. Uh, the little heart symbol will move along the line the more uh, the higher your heart rate gets. Uh, once, as, as long as it is under 123 in my case, uh, the effect will be fat burning and if I go over it will say fitness. And uh, you can pretty much watch this your entire workout to see uh, if you're working out effectively or not depending on what your goals are. Now if you go one set down, this is your, if you only want to display your heart rate and not the graph then uh, you go to this page. One page lower is the calories you burned in your workout and here's sort of an overview of your workout uh, in time and it also tell you, tells you what time it is right now. I pretty much have it on this one all the time because it's, um, yeah, I use it mostly in the gym like I said so it's either uh, when I'm doing a fat burning workout I want it to stay under 123 and if I'm actually doing a, a cardio workout or a hardcore lifting then it's uh, the heart symbol will move uh, in this, into this region and then it will show you that you're uh, doing a cardio workout, a fitness workout. To stop, the, um, stop it recording you press the back button, it says pause first then you press the back button again, it says stopped and then it says nothing anymore the time has stopped as well but when you actually put in a workout with heart rate then it will give you an overview of how many calories you burned and how many uh, how long you've actually been working out um, a few things I don't like about this watch is first of all you can probably see it there's already a scratch on it I've only had it for uh, for a couple of weeks and it's already starting to scratch um, so it's not I mean it's not your average uh, tough glass watch uh, the buttons are fine I suppose uh, slightly tiny for for my size uh, hands and fingers but it's uh, it's okay because there's not that many features on it so you won't be fiddling around much uh, uh, besides the stop start function uh, when you're actually working out uh, other than that yeah it's a, it's a nice light watch uh, it does whatever what it's supposed to do it's, it does what I bought it for um, it has no bells and whistles at all it's uh, it's straight simple and it's um, it works pretty well um, the connection with the with the strap is is also excellent I've never had any issues with this so far and um, I have no idea about battery life but I suppose it doesn't take up that much power um, I'll put that in a comment later when I actually run out of battery um, the strap itself is also very um, the strap itself is also very nice this part is a bit soft plasticky and this is stretchy so it's very comfortable you can put it as tight or as loose as you want to although um, you have to put it slightly tight obviously because then this has to be firmly strapped against your chest so it can feel your heart rate properly uh, but yeah once you put it on it's um, you hardly notice that you have it on and it's uh, it's machine washable so it's um, it won't start to stink on you and you can always buy a new uh, a new one for uh, from Polar if you if it's really starting to wear out but that'll take you a while it looks pretty durable pretty sturdy and it's um, yeah it's overall nice comfortable uh, strap 